you know, we spent a good amount of the agenda at the beginning of this doing proclamations for um, different areas of government, which are all very important and provide uh, necessary functions for our community uh, to operate and on a day-to-day -day basis. Because this is kind of what I consider budget night, I, I wish we would, uh, you know, maybe have a proclamation for the taxpayer because the most important thing that we do all year is vote on a budget. And um, what we, of course, have to ask the taxpayers to do is, is to fund that budget. And so um, I just, you know, want to take this as a moment as kind of my proclamation for the taxpayers for, for whatever that's worth. Um, so a, a couple of my, uh, I guess, issues with, you know, what's before us tonight is, is one, I'll take the levy on its own. I know we have ongoing debate year to year about what constitutes a, a tax increase and what doesn't. Um, and we go back and explain what the rate is versus the levy. And, and I, I do appreciate, um, you know, the, the maintenance from the, the town side to keep us in that 99% rate. Um, that's great. Uh, of course, as a council, we don't set a rate. You know, we back fill into that equation. We set a levy. And so uh, while I don't think just an increase from an annual to annual basis is a property tax increase in and of itself, uh, when you take into consideration and, and back out the growth that occurs that makes up you know, the additional contribution to that levy, um, I think it's that, that's that left as to what determines a tax increase or not. And so, um, you know, everybody has the access to the same spreadsheets that I do, so this isn't uh, news, but, you know, this, this really does constitute about a 4.6 increase to existing property owners. That's when you take out the growth. And so, in my opinion, um, you know, raising the levy to that degree is a, is a property tax increase. It's not, it's not a big one, um, but given the circumstances and, the, and um, you know, the situation and the greater economic forecast that we're in, um, I, I, do have, I do take issue with that. When, when we talk about the, uh, the levy and the rate, we talk about keeping the rate the same. In, in crude terms, not accounting for growth, the way we come up with a rate normally is we determine what we need to service voter approved debt, and that's some number. We would theoretically give that to the assessor's office. They would take the assessed value of property in Gilbert. They would take the amount of dollars that we would need, which is the levy. They divide by the assessed value of property, which gives you a rate. Years ago, council members from some time past came up with some political spin. And they said, if we keep the rate the same, that means we didn't raise taxes. Well, you don't pay the rate. When you take your tax bill, you don't look in there and say it's 0.997. I think I'll send a check for that. What you pay is the levy. You write a check for the levy. But we've created this spin because politicians in Gilbert can't campaign well on I raise taxes. So we created this, this deceptive spin idea that if we don't raise the rate, then that means we didn't raise the, the taxes. And it's, it's deceitful. I mean, it may fool a lot of people, and some people may, may go along with it. But yeah, they didn't raise the rate, so they didn't raise the tax. Well, we saw the chart that showed the levy going up every year. The levy is what you pay. That's what you write your check for. And if we add all the taxpayers together, that bar chart is what we all paid together when we added together. What we do to keep the rate the same is we work backwards. We look at what the assessed value is, then we say we want to keep the rate the same so we can stick with this spin that we didn't raise taxes, even though we know full well it's not true, but we can convince enough people that aren't paying attention that we didn't raise taxes. And then we back into a levy. And then we figure out a way to spend that. We can only spend it on voter approved debt. If we, if we use too much, of that, too much of that to pay down voter approved debt, we need a new bond because we don't want to lower taxes. And if we used up all the money, we'd have to, we'd have to lower the rate or the taxes or whatever we want to call it. Uh, I, I, I just have a real challenge with this, this spin that we put on for the levy. If we sat down and spent our time educating all the voters and the taxpayers understood what we were doing, instead of this political spin they hear every two years, there'd be very few of us sitting on this dais. 
I think there's a lot of um, a lot of underlying illness in our economy that's going to come to a head that we that I want to be extra careful in how we're going to expand from a government standpoint. Um, I, I mentioned that you know we're only 64 percent recovered in the in the jobs in Arizona. I know that's only maybe five percent unemployment, but it's it's resetting where we're going to be moving forward and adding positions in the public sector feels tone deaf when we've got small businesses who are still trying to recover plan i would support this budget if there was a general direction to look at other areas to reduce staffing so that we could bring on other ones that i think are are very important uh, when i was in grade school they taught history and it wasn't filtered and they didn't change what they taught us. They taught us what actually happened back then. And they talked about the Boston Tea Party. And in the Tea Party, they weren't protesting taxes. They weren't saying we don't want to pay taxes. What they were protesting is they didn't want to pay taxes without representation. They wanted to basically vote for what taxes they paid for and they wanted to approve the taxes they paid for, for the services they got in return. And when we do this, this spin that I talked about before, that because we didn't raise the rate, we didn't raise taxes, there's got to be some reason we don't want people to understand because we, we believe we raised the taxes $8 or whatever Councilperson Tilke said it was, $5, $3, whatever it is. If it's five cents, we raised the taxes. Own it. There's nothing wrong with that. Just tell the taxpayers we raised the taxes and we efficiently use your money and just be straight up about it. Uh, Burke, please vote. Passes 